three more hours until we can board our flight to DC. Saw Rebel Wilson casually walking through an hour ago. It's like Where's Wally, but with famous people. Today marks the day in October 2013. I finally moved to America. I still can't believe that I live in America. Not only live, but it's now 2016, and within that time I've done so many amazing things. Met so many amazing people, experienced so many cool things as well. I can't wait to see what the future holds for this. But I just really wanted to quickly acknowledge everyone who has supported me while being here in America, every cool person that I've met, every opportunity that was given to me, and every opportunity that I worked for. And for those people, you are awesome, I love you. Now, let's start the vlog. <laughs> I just got in and the cool thing about today is that we're opening the new Lou Lemon store. It doesn't open till tomorrow, but we're setting up everything right now. I don't start till 10, but I specifically came in earlier to check out everything else and meet new people that Michelle is right here as well. She's coming from out of town helping us set up, so... So it's all very, very exciting. Katie's over there too, she's pretty what? excited. Okay, I'm gonna try to do some work now. Today is absolutely mental. Ashley's here. She came from Seattle and she's here for the... VMSOS. For an entire week? Just until Wednesday. Wednesday. But we're only here, just kind of just working, getting through everything as fast as we can and as efficient as we can. But thankfully, she's here, Michelle's here, the A team's here so we can get this thing started. Okay, I'm on my 30 minute break. I found this cool book called The Question Book. And I'm gonna to go to a random page and do questions. There's gonna be questions and answers, but mainly by this book. Random page, random page. It's gonna be this one. Oh no, this, this is politics. I'm moving on. Uh, this one, okay. It's the same one. Okay, this one. Dying, we'll do dying. This first page, I'll do all of this page. When was the last time you were at a funeral? Um, I can't remember. Do you think about the people in your life who have died? Who do you think about the most? Um, my uncle, when I was living in Wanganui, uh, I, I think about him the most. Who do you fear may be the next person to die in your circle of friends or relatives? My nan, my nan is in Wanganui right now, uh, which is my hometown. And she had a stroke years ago. Um, that's my fear because I don't know how to get home. Well, I do to get on a plane, but it's the money part that I don't know how to accumulate to go home. Imagine you are told that you will die in a year's time. Would you change anything about the way you live? <sighs> Honestly, no. If, any, if, if I was to change one aspect, I would say road trip more, travel more. But other than that, every, everything is pretty sweet. Okay, last question. Imagine you are on your deathbed. Is there somebody you would particularly want to talk to? Wait, on my deathbed? Like I've died? Who would I want to talk to? I don't know. Mm, Kurt Cobain maybe? Jimi Hendrix, Dennis Joplin, Jim Morrison, Amy Winehouse. Yeah, a couple of those. That's questions and answers done. Back to work. <laughs> I have just finished work, now I am heading to gym, do a real quick workout, and then head home to see Ollie. <laughs> 
I didn't steal it. I took it home by accident. Oh I know God. what it is. Oh my gosh. It's a cup? It's no. a bracelet? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, I took home one of them by accident. But Gemma took What this. a weenie. Gemma took this one by accident too. I mean, let's be honest, where else did you think I would go?